Hi there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here with your reading. I hope you're doing really well. Sorry about that door in the background. 27, your mind is wide open. You are tolerant here, so you're expressive. Zero, zero, zero. You're also creative. And, of course, with the threes, always expanding. New heights will be reached. You are a creator and truly one with the creator. Zero, zero, zero. Fourteen, I am practical. This is about being open-minded and up to anything new as long as you think about it first. I believe that's what's saying. And there's another three and a zero. I am imaginative, talking about using your creativity to give an uplifting effect on others or to have an uplifting effect on others. And you know what? Let's just go straight into the tarot. We use some of the hermetic tarot. All right, what do we got? The Hierophant in the reverse. Seven of Swords. The Ten of Cups, which it kind of flipped, so I'm going to put it like that. So this is Lord of Perfected Success. Goodness. Okay. Well, this is your um, cake and eat it too. It's your fairy tale ending. Seven of Swords. Seeing through any tactic or strategies here um, that might be possibly trying to throw you off. Doing something in a different way than traditional, but it working and you being knight of wands energy um inspiring and moving others with your words lord of flame and lightning and the eight of pentacle energy taking like i said before taking what didn't work and then implementing the things that do work looks like it is going to be the strategy. The Seven of Cups energy is about options and watching what you put into your body. Maybe watching what you ingest. Um, Seven of Cups has to do, well, it could be like, could be a few things actually um, in tarot. But... What I'm going to go with here is many options to decide what is best for you and what is not. 7-7, seven, seven, um, also about being brave, bold, and assertive. And the Knight of Cups in the reverse is getting something moving that maybe had a standstill. So getting something moving that maybe had a standstill. Okay. Okay, now let's clarify. There's another seven. It's a seven of pentacle in the reverse. Clarifying the knight of cups in the reverse is about patience, planning. Also about um, watching what you have sown because of in anticipation for the harvest here.
the nine of wands energy in the reverse has to do about resting and conserving your energy also about perseverance and never giving up of course it is Sagittarius so of course The two of pentacles here Ooh, is the challenge. That's about being balanced. Bold and brave since it landed on the 14 and that's two sevens. So the six of swords in the reverse is right next to the knight of wands and the four of wands in the reverse underneath the ten of cups. So finding that fairy tale ending while having fast movement, it's fast as lightning. Listening to yourself and not repeating anything from the past, going towards calmer waters and maybe shifts in perspectives and moving, making a big move, making a big move. And the Emperor Energy, Ten of Cups. Emperor Energy, Ten of Cups. As well as the Star Energy in the reverse. Some kind of disappointment here. Um, but no worries, it's in the reverse. So we can always think of our dreams and our hopes. Things that we have wanted for such a long time. Maybe even since we were young. And then them coming true with the emperor energy you being the author of your own existence okay so we're gonna wrap up then here with goodness how long have i been doing this one maybe not long enough hang on i'll get more more cards we'll do more oracle or we can do more tarot Let's just do more oracle. We'll do both. That's what we'll do. Okay. I know I saw some issue with my bag. Hang on. There it is. Okay, so Moonology Manifestation. Moonology Manifestation. New Moon and Taurus, know your worth. First quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck, which is imperable that you believe in your own magic too. That's what makes it practical. Be proud of yourself and full moon in Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. Of course, that was the last quarter moon in Taurus, for be proud of yourself and full moon in, in Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. And first quarter moon in Libra, keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. Okay, now let's just see what the tarot wants to say.
of the Magician. Not fighting, waiting for news, not wanting confrontation, using all magic skills, abilities, and your elements to your advantage here to create exactly what you want to create because you are a creator. Oh, and that one fell on the floor, so that one's not really included, but that is the world energy, the page of cups, the hopeful new beginning, the hopeful new beginning. And let's close out your reading then. In this deck, there's two of each of all the major cards. And there you go. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. One is like, oh no, energy. And the other one is like, hopeful. So one is not hopeful that the fish is still in that cup. And the other one is hopeful. So that's what I've got for you. And then on the bottom, it's the good, um, good news card. So sending you love and light. Bye-bye.